there a used car boom? Market experts say we're in the midst of one of the hottest and trickiest used car markets in modern history. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homer Guy team. It's another round of super high intensity training coming up for car buyers. If you like the Homer Guy videos, check the merch shelf down below if you want to support some awesome swag like this hoodie. You can support what we do by doing so. Did COVID actually help the used car market? Statistics seem to say yes. Used car sales have increased as budget weary consumers paid more attention to the bottom line of their household budgets. Budget wary consumers. Wow, that has a nice sound to it, doesn't it? If true, it's about time. Anyway, among the biggest beneficiaries were AutoNation, CarMax, Carvana, and surprisingly, a few new startups. Across the board, used car inventories are still good as consumers are transitioning to a different way of doing business with car dealers. Think about it. How much has your way of car shopping changed in the last year? For most of you, it's a lot. Back to this hot topic right after a short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the homeworkguy.com with a specific question or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. Used car sales are soaring all over the U.S., and companies like AutoNation, CarMax, and Carvana are benefiting big time, including the used car startup known as ACB Auctions, an online digital auto auction out of Buffalo, New York. Now, you might be wondering, who the heck is ACB Auctions? If you haven't heard of them, there's a reason. It's an auto auction for car dealers, but with a twist. It's an online digital auto auction, evidence that things are changing for car dealers too. ACB Auctions website boasts of a full-service, coast-to-coast wholesale automotive auction, providing unmatched transparency in a marketplace of thousands of dealers. That means you should not be surprised to see a little better variety in used cars in your area as more used cars get sold over state lines. When COVID first hit, ACB Auctions faced a challenge that would derail a typical startup company. The customers they were targeting, the used car dealers, were being shut down, no longer allowed to be open for business in many states for a given period of time. Do you remember that? Bad timing for an auto auction, and things got a bit scary for them, but the inability for dealers to go to the physical auctions kicked the door open for ACV auctions in a very big way. Now, why would information about a new auto auction be interesting to an average car buyer, you know, like you, who isn't a car dealer? Well, the story about ACV Auctions tells the story of what's going on in the car business, and that's why you need to know about it. You see, the pandemic produced surprise success stories like ACV Auctions, despite the period of uncertainty and crisis, and it led to a boom in the buying and selling of used cars. Let me emphasize that. Used cars. When new cars slowed to a trickle at dealer lots, and consumers were becoming a bit more budget-weary, as I said earlier, people gave more thought to how much they spent on big-ticket items, things like cars. The budget-weary consumer created a boom in the used car market. I'm quite proud of that, actually, because I'm more than confident that the Homework Guy team helped many of you put on your thinking caps and you got smarter about car buying. And that is precisely what we've been trying to do for you. And that calls for a great big knuckle bump. Smack it right there, my friend. The surge in used car sales continued throughout this past year, and new records were set for the fast rate of used car inventory turnover in years. It seemed unlikely at the time that a pandemic could have caused that, but it definitely played a big role. Literally everyone was predicting a big drop in prices and in cars sold. Our team here at the Homework Guy also expected sales to plummet, and with it, big drops in car prices. Yet, that didn't really happen. Instead, prices have gone up. That's a natural consequence of supply and demand. More people want used cars, used car prices go up. AutoNation and CarMax had a great year because they saw the opportunity and went aggressively after the used car market. After briefly taking a hit in the stock market, both companies are up overall for the year. However, opportunity invites competition, so expect to be hearing about a company known as Shift, among others. Where are we right now? 
41 million used cars have sold in the last 12 months, and experts expect that to continue accelerating. The concerns about possible market shakeups haven't moved Americans, people like you, away from wanting vehicles. What does all this demand mean for used car prices? I think you know what's coming. For the moment, expect the prices to keep going up. However, when it comes to used car inventory, as prices go up, the good deals you can still keep finding move to older and older cars. So at some point, that trend has to cave in. Eventually, more new cars have to come into the mix, or there just won't be any cars left. The major change we all saw coming to the car business was digital selling. Largely an online transaction with minimal in-person contact. Industry experts have predicted a slow move towards this method of selling for years, but years were compressed into months when the coronavirus hit. With such a big behavioral shift in the way people buy cars, I don't see the auto sales market ever going back entirely to the way it was just a year ago. Car buyers have taken a liking to the hands-off approach to buying a car and for a very simple reason. It's a lot tougher for a car dealer to manipulate you when you're at home chatting with them on the phone or in an online chat room. That makes it pretty tough for them to put the squeeze on you, if you know what I mean. The phenomena of ACV auctioning cars online, which subsequently led dealers to buying cars online, has translated into a major shift. Most of you will do a significant portion of your car buying journey just like this in the future, online. Now, for those of you who might be a little resistant to the changes presented by online selling, take something into consideration. What a dealer says to you while you're sitting in the showroom and staring at you from the other side of the desk, you have a lot harder time disputing or verifying than what they tell you online. From the comforts of home, you can take everything they say with a grain of salt and come to places like the Homework Guy channel to verify. You don't ever have to be cheated again. Isn't that awesome? None of this means that cars won't be in a physical location and that you won't be able to test drive or take them to your mechanic. You'll have plenty of opportunities to make sure you like the car, but it will mean that the entire sales transaction, negotiating price, terms of the contract, fees and products can all be negotiated from a distance. You don't have to be in that shark tank for any of that stuff anymore. That's the good news. Here's a few cool surprises that came along with all of this. The emergence of ACV auctions brings some cool new tools. To aid in its process of selling cars to dealers through online auctions, ACV Auctions has the ability to scan a car title and create electronic recognition of the documents. The change of title between car buyer and seller can all happen in a digital environment. ACV also has introduced a way of scanning the undercarriage of their vehicles, something called virtual lift. They supply as many pictures as the dealer would like of the undercarriage of cars, something you might have a high interest in when it comes time for your turn to look at the same car on a dealer's lot. Ask for those undercarriage shots supplied by ACV. As any good mechanic will tell you, a view from underneath tells you a lot about how a car has been taken care of. But wait, there's more. ACV has also introduced an AMP tool, AMP, known as Audio Motor Profile. And it can be attached to the engine of a used car, letting the interested parties listen to the engine running to check for any potential issues. Mechanics will just love this. I see a future coming where you can ask for that too and send it to your mechanic to see what he or she thinks. How does the homework guy recommend that you play the used car boom? Pretty simple, actually. Dealers could have been offering a more hands-off and less pushy way of selling a car a long time ago, but COVID forced it. Now it's up to buyers just like you to keep their feet to the fire and continue shifting the way cars are bought and sold. As many of you have already been doing, start all of your shopping online. Avoid the high-pressure situation inside a dealership. Chop up the car buying process into easy-to-handle pieces. Get your financing lined up with your own bank or credit union. If you're trading a vehicle, have it appraised by multiple places. Do all the necessary research on the car that you want. Take test drives. Have a mechanic look at it if it's used. Go back home and negotiate price with the dealer online. <laughs> negotiate your trade separately, also online. Negotiate any products separately. Cut out those unnecessary fees and your final arguments. Do it all online. Make them email you a copy of the contract you'll be signing so you can review it before you go in and then go get your car. Double check all the documents to make sure they are the same as the ones you reviewed at home. Then sign and drive. Done deal. Now I get that some of you still want a high contact sales process, but consider the places like Carvana and CarMax 
They are not going away. What got a major boost in 2020, we see as a lasting trend. Every smart dealer is out there bolstering their online business right now to support this way of doing business. And it's going to steadily grow. And don't worry, we'll stay on top of this and we'll keep you well armed as the way of buying and selling cars continues to evolve. As our return viewers know, there's an abundance of outstanding car buying videos here on the Homework Guy channel. Check them all out. We've gone to a lot of work to help you, so use the resources we put out there for you. Be a smart car buyer. If you learned something today and appreciate the video, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your family and friends and join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, well, PayPal and the Cash App links that you see here on the screen will be very easy to find in the description box down below. If you can't do a tip, no problem. You can say thanks by sharing this video with your family and friends and encouraging others to subscribe to the channel. That is huge. That's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer here on the channel. We appreciate everything you do to help us get the word out and defeat those bad guys still hanging on in the car business who haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time. Take care, everyone.